right, so here's this go-kart. Doesn't have a motor. It's been, been sitting under some lady's porch for about 10 odd years, I think. But um, that tire doesn't hold air. That tire does hold air. This tire, very surprisingly, holds air. This tire, I mean, I thought it might have been leaking in some small cracks like this. Small, big cracks, I guess. But there's this hole here. And so I don't really think that that's able to be patched. So this might just need a new set of back tires. I don't know, maybe I can just get one, but it might be kind of hard to match it considering these tires are probably close to 40 years old. But the uh, seat isn't mounted down or anything. I don't know what's going on here. It looks like they bolted a bigger sprocket to a smaller sprocket. That disc, I think, could be sanded down and used again. It's not like this is some sort of racing buggy or anything. Like It just needs to be able to stop. Um, yeah, I mean, the throttle linkage is still there. Spring still works. And same with the brake. Steering wheel's pretty neat. Works also. And you can see where someone had a kill switch mounted there and the wire runs to the back here. But he said they tore the motor off because they were going to redo it at one time. And they just never got around to it, I guess. But we'll check out all these bearings back here and see what needs to be replaced. But I plan on giving this a nice paint job and I don't really need it. I just wanted a fun project for the summer. So I think this thing's pretty cool looking. Thinking I might paint it red. So when I recorded this video, I was recording on a camera called a Cam Park. I got it on Amazon for like 60 bucks. It claimed to shoot 4K, 1080p, so I thought that was a pretty good deal for 60 bucks. Didn't end up working very good because every time you turned the camera on, you had to remember to turn the microphone on. I didn't know you had to do that until after I filmed all of this and uploaded it to my computer and none of it had any sound. So I'm talking through a lot of he these clips, but you can't hear me because I'm not recording audio. Anyway, here I'm just pounding the bolts up through the engine. I think the hole on the engine is metric, and this is probably like a, a 5 8 bolt or something, so it's a little bit tight going through the engine. So the rest of this video is just me tightening down the nuts on this motor. Uh, you can see on the far left, it, it's mounted up to a slot that it looks like someone plasma cut in here. And then on the right, I had to drill holes. I don't have a video of drilling those holes. I think it got, it got lost somewhere. But you can bet that I drilled them because the bolt's going through there.
big ordeal was these tires. See here, I was trying to drive up on a 2x4 with my truck to brake the beam. Didn't really work very well. I ended up just having a tire shop do this. Um, but I just replaced the one back tire every four years. So I decided the next thing I'm going to do here is take apart this linkage that goes to the brake pedal up here. And to do that, I need to pull that bolt off and the bolt off up there. It's coming off very slowly. Terrible for dead pitch. That was terrible, so we're going to come in here and take these out. And it's spinning on the back side. So this is welded to this block here. And this block is screwed on here with this. And that must be threaded through because there's no nut on the other side. This is just absolutely deadly right here. I'm about to annihilate my knuckles on this sprocket here. is loose though. So I gotta take these two bolts out here to get this whole piece off of here. 
And I broke out the half inch now because this is just getting ridiculous. Everything's so rusty. I'm trying to get it off of here. So. Okay. These bolts are terrible. I'm grinding them all off right now. So I just flip this thing up like this. This is one of the bolts I'm trying to take out right here. It's just not coming out of here, so I will be grinding it off. for me to really get in there and grind that and I don't want to cut this shaft because I want to use this to hook up to the new hydraulic brakes I'm going to put on here so Attach the other half of this line. This is pretty cool. Whoever made these pedals and everything, you can tell that they plasma cut them. And someone definitely took a lot of time to bend all of this rod this way. Definitely a lot of work. that I was able to keep some of the threads on this rod on the other side so that I don't have to make my own. So, now that that's off of there, I should be able to pull this. Not with those vice grips on over there. Hold on a second. Okay, so this spacer. Oh, I thought that was galled on there. This is moving here. I think it's just this spring that's on, on here so tightly that's keeping this thing from popping off of here. that bolt that I was trying to loosen off of there. You can see that there's nothing on this side. I 
I've never seen anything like this though. Look at how that those brake shoes are set up. Just welded neatly into this little smoothing that out pretty good um, so I'm just gonna spin that and do that on both sides just to get a nice smooth service for those new pads and the new brake that I have is right here so this is just for a Chinese four-wheeler but it has a little hydraulic cylinder there and then Nice set of pads. I already checked this will fit on there nice. I'll just bolt that up. And then I'll end up hooking this up to that shaft that I just cut off. This was another section of the video where my audio isn't working. So here I'm just cutting a piece of angle iron that I'm going to use as a bracket for the brake caliper. And while I was doing this uh, shatter to grinding wheel, um, it's, it was kind of old. must have had some sort of imperfection in there where it just shattered. Um, I was wearing that welding mask, so I was in pretty good shape, but this is what it looked like when I pulled it out of there. It's pretty crazy, never had that happen before. And I got new grinding wheels from, or grinding discs from Harbor Freight. I don't know if that's the best place to get them, but that's where I got them, very cheap.
bolt was bent. Theoretically, what I want to do here is this brake line isn't that long to go up to the pedal. This is the linkage to the pedal. So when you press the pedal, you get this motion, obviously. So this is going to mount right here like this. And then I put a mark on this rod. I'm going to bend this out this way and then put a pin down through it. Might have to heat this up with a torch. And that way when you press the pedal, it'll engage this brake. And I'm not certain that the spring inside this cylinder is gonna be strong enough to return the pedal. So I might have to put a stop on there and then put a spring to return this rod so the brakes aren't engaged all the time. So I have a line marked right here where I want the bend to be. I'm just going to put a little nick in it. And that way, I don't keep the line off here, my mark that I have. And then I want to bend this out this way. And I want the bend to be right where that mark is. good if I had some half gas but I don't
camera box a little, but uh, that's what we were going for there. That is almost exactly where I wanted it on the mark there, so it's just going to need to get chopped off. I'm sure that this is still freaking hot, but... Well, camera bots a little, but uh, that's what we were going for there. That is almost exactly where I wanted it on the mark there, so this is going to need to get chopped off. I'm sure that this is still freaking hot, but... through the bottom but I don't know how we're going to get that back out of there bit just poked through there and snapped right off. I'll see what I can do from this side. smokes that worked that punch punch that drill bit back out of there let me push it a little bit further and there it went it's not really that good for your punches but I found this little bowl. Works perfect. It'll 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 go through there with a hammer. So I'll find a nut for it now, or a couple of washers, and then we'll be set.
Okay. Remember when I said this bolt would go in with a hammer? I didn't bring a hammer out here. Great for that, but it'll be all right. Okay, brakes are finally finished and working great. Put this little eyelet in here to keep this from kicking out when I press them. And so far, the spring that's inside of this cylinder is enough to return the brake pedal. Well guys, that's all for today's video. We just had time to get done the brakes. Still have to hook up the chain tensioner and uh, throttle. Still have to give it a paint job and tie up some odds and ends, bolt the seat down, that type of thing. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I do plan on putting out videos documenting the rest of this project. Um, this, this whole YouTube thing has been a pretty big learning experience for me. And I think as the videos progress, I'll eventually get better at editing get better at angles, get better at sound quality, that type of thing. It's definitely come a long way even in the first few videos I made. So until next time, take care.